Hello, Marvel sports fans, and welcome to race four, to circuit four, the Spain Grand Prix. These are the qualifiers, so we will be seeing how these marbles singularly attack each lap, seeing if they can get the fastest time. We have seen incredible singular times from Fast Cupins, who has not really done overly stellar, actually pretty bad in the um, regular competition, placing now 11th with only 13 points. And we've seen good uh, times from Pink Pearl and Mimonas, and definitely the fan favorite Sea Turtle has been given good showings as well. So we'll have to see how these marbles do this time. Sparky here, making his way through. We got the new wide track this time. A whole new look to the Marble Fubica Marble Circuits here. The wider track is going to allow for a lot of placement changes, a lot of dispute here on the course. We still got some of the narrow track, which allows for marbles to form good streamlines. And we got a little bit of a drop here. Look at that. Kind of to mess up with these marbles, kind of throw them off their feet. Oh, Sparky going to bounce a little bit through the starting gate and end with a 30.4.105. Not a bad time. Gold Piston next. Gold Piston... We have not seen much from him so far in this uh, Marble Circuit season. We certainly got a lot more races left to go, so I would I would wait and see if Gold Piston is just a late bloomer here in the competition. Making his way up the elevator, trying to get a faster time at least than Sparky. He wants to try to establish himself at least towards the front, finally, in this competition. 22, 23 here towards this final curve. A lot of straightaways in this narrow track area. I wonder if that's gonna affect the marbles differently this time. Ooh, getting a little caught up there in the snake helices. And will be 1.15 about over Sparky's time. Fast Pins, I think, is going to be next. Definitely eyes on him as he has definitely had the best qualifying times so far. Not always the best racing times, actually some of the worst if you look at his uh, current score, but his qualifying times just happen to be so fast. Winning two of the qualifiers so far, which unfortunately does not allot you any points. Making way around these curves, these straightaways, taking them very fast. He's definitely a fast marble to look out for. Getting a lot of roll there, but he's going to have a hard time beating Sparky. 27, 28, needs to make a good time through these helices. Oh, going to stay into the right side, getting a little caught up through the starting gate. I think he just beat out Sparky. Definitely a little miscue from the, the editing there as there's a plus, a plus number for both marbles behind and in front of the top time, which um, I believe a minus should, uh, should accompany marbles who beat the time as like, oh, minus this amount under this time. So eh, we'll see if that uh, makes its way there, but maybe it's just a new style. Staying positive, staying plus here at the Marble Fubica Circuits. Pink Pearl now, also a decent qualifier marble racing kind of lackluster in the actual circuit races but singularly a good competitor through the helices he's taking them pretty well staying more towards the right again as well through the oh he's gonna get a 32 8 5 7 gonna crush fast coupons time and take away his dream of a third victory in the qualifiers loose wheel a marble we saw running at the top for once in the previous circuit gonna make his way through this wide track is certainly going to provide for an interesting group of racing, interesting scenario in the circuit. A lot of place for marbles to pass, marbles to, you know, kind of try to push other marbles out of the way, nudge them around, as opposed to this narrow track where you only got about one marble length to the left or right of you, depending on where you are. So we will just have to see how these marbles react to that. Helices going through the helices, again, seeing to the right. Ooh, moves to the left there, goes to the starting gate. Ooh. Not the best time. Under Sparky, a good one point. Uh, about 0.8 seconds above Sparky. And about 1.9 from the, the top time. Peppers to go here. Peppers was prominent in the second marble circuit, but not very uh, noticed in the third one in China. We'll have to see how he performs here in the qualifiers. Trying to establish himself, get a good time. You know, kind of show that he's still in here. He's still in there to be racing, trying to 
make his way through these curves here. The straightaways do kind of hang him up a little bit. Not a great sprinter, but definitely good at taking the turns fast. We'll have to see if he gets through these helices. Oh, bounces off the middle there. Oh, and twice. That's going to cost him a lot of seconds. 34.314. He's just going to get above loose wheel, but certainly not a time that he was looking for. Those helices, I'm telling you, some of these marbles, not going to make good time to them. Mamonas, I think, is a little more agile out there. Agility is more her style as opposed to just brute speed. So maybe she will take these helices with ease. Definitely taken that first set of track very uh, easily. Not bad at all. 14.15 here up to the elevator, making good time. It's just going to depend on if she can maintain good speed through these turns, through these uh, S-curves here, and definitely on the straightaways. The straightaways are very long in this course. How are these marbles going to do? This all comes down to if they can stay focused. Ooh, the Healy, he's taking them very well, not bouncing off too much of the places. A little bit rocky, but it's not going to pay off. Must have lost time in some of the other parts of the course. And we'll end with a 34.053. Does work out okay there. Third place right now for Momona. It's actually not bad. I thought 34.03 was going to be a little bit lower, but I think a lot of these marbles were hitting that 34.5 range. Only a couple of them even broke that 34 mark. So... Definitely good to see Mamonas shining there. Third place is definitely not a bad place to start. Arrow Frog to go. Arrow Frog has been very erratic throughout this marble circuits. Kind of showing his head up there in some of the races and kind of sinking back to the bottom of the others. Making his way to the heel as he's very quickly going to cross the line. Oh, well, oh, a little bit before 34. I thought it was 34.95 um, as per my groan at first there, but no, it's 33.95, so beating out Mamonas and actually taking that third spot, so our frog is, you know, rearing his head again here, so maybe we should be expecting a, a good, uh, a good performance from him in the Spain circuit coming up this Saturday. We'll have to see how Big Dog does, though, making his way to the narrow parts of the track. Decent time so far. It's just, can he stay quick? The track does lend itself to some more steeper downhill moves so marble should be able to stay quick but sometimes the sides of the track not staying straight oh very well quick to these helices back and forth is exactly how you want to take them wow 33.064 that is so close to the fastest time only 0.207 behind big dogs with second place right now i gotta say that is the smoothest oh sea turtles getting hung up a little bit there smoothest i've ever seen a uh, marble take those helices, taking them perfectly, going to the right on the first curve, left on the second one, right on the third one, and left on the fourth. That is the quickest way to do it, not changing your momentum, not changing your direction in those helices. That's what keeps, um, maintains the speed through that area. Now, with all the other marbles swarming around you in the real race, that's going to be hard to do. Oh, let's see how Tito does here through the helices, he's back and forth. Oh, gets a little bit caught up. This is not going to be a good time for him. Cross the finish. Oh, wow. Must have been incredibly fast through some of the other parts of the track because Sea Turtle still performs really well here, even after getting hung up in those helices. Sea Turtles, I got to be honest, some of the times, I don't even know how he does it. Getting now two wins so far. Will he get another one? And that would make three in a row if he can win the Spain circuit. Already starting off in a pretty good position. At the very least, he'll be starting in the five spot. Uh, likely to be starting in the top three, actually. Black Pirates here, not the best qualifying racer. Knight River, certainly not very good either when it comes to qualifiers. I definitely, those marbles, I see potential and pos- Oh, Black, uh, Black Pirates going to come across 32.9! As I speak about his... Not so good uh, qualifying performances. He all of a sudden crosses just behind Pink Pearl, and Sea Turtle is not going to be starting in the top three. Wow. I eat my words as soon as I say them sometimes out here on the marble circuit. Tell you what, gets so unpredictable out here, I should not even try to predict these outcomes. Night River, though, I gotta be honest, from past performances, hasn't shown a lot. But like I said, anything can happen here on the marble circuit. So let's see how. He goes around these curves. 
Okay, getting them kind of slow. He needs to speed it up here. 25, 26. Can he establish himself in a good place to go here? Through the helis, he's taking them pretty well. A little bit bouncy through there across the line. 33.036, 063. Sorry. A little mess of the numbers there. And Knight Rivers will take the three spot. Wow, that is probably the most unexpected turnaround here in the qualifiers. Pirate, Black Pirate and Knight Rivers taking one of the uh, two of the top three spots. Pink Pearl now holding that first spot. Sea Turtle's back in fifth. Definitely still possible for him to win. It's, it seems to always be possible, but we're going to see some of the competitors that were more prominent in the first race and the second one back up here in the fourth race in the marble circuit if they can maintain the lead they start with well that's all for this qualifiers race four another look at the track here look at all the different track types definitely going to be an exciting race guys can't wait to see how all these marbles perform at race four this saturday we will see you in the next episode